Welcome back to Doctor Who Makeup. Today's tutorial is from Season 2, Episode 10, Love and Monsters. We're going to be recreating Ursula Blake, otherwise known as Moaning Myrtle, from Harry Potter. You're using one of my favorite everyday makeup tutorials. So, let's begin. So I'm going to start off my look by applying my foundation concealer. I don't normally wear foundation, although within the past few weeks I have been getting more into it, but I normally take my Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. This one is in medium light. I actually own four of these because I couldn't find my right skin tone. It is super pigmented and it's very white, so if you have an off skin tone, kind of like I do, I have more of a peachy pink skin tone, this might not work. But I blend it with this Cetaphil Oil Control Moisturizer. Do not get this in your eyes or in your mouth. It tastes bad and it stings your eyes, so be careful. But I mix them together and it makes like a nice BB cream. So what I do is I open it up and then I will just apply little dots. You don't need a whole lot of this stuff. That's too much already. So apply it mostly over top of your red areas, which is what I'm doing. And then you can blend it all in. So that is pretty much as much as you will need. Then take your oil control. I just put it on my hand. I apply about that much and if I need more, I will go back in. And I take my Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques and I dip it in there. So I get a good slathering on it. And then I just go, and I always start with my right cheek for some reason. I don't know why, I just start there. And then kind of blend it in all over. I also find that this doesn't cover a lot of what I need it to, so I will go back in and I will apply more, which is totally fine. I have no problem. Better to start off with a light coat than to go all in and have to remove some layer. Okay, that's it. That's the skin. That's all I normally do for foundation. Now, next I will apply a mattifier or a pressed powder. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Sandstorm. I have like absolutely nothing left, but what I do use so I will use my Soho Jumbo Fluffy Brush and I will just kind of go like that and just apply it. There's enough left for at least another few weeks. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but there totally is. For video's sake, I do have another one, but I want to use up this one first before I really start using it. Okay, that's pretty much it for my skin. If I want to go on with a blush and a bronzer, I normally would use something like my Essence Vintage District blush. This one's very pretty. I will use it today. I like using this one with the Multitask brush by Real Techniques. I do have their blush brush, but for this specific shade, I prefer it because the blush is a little bit more dense. So I really work my brush into there. Get a little bit and then just apply it. You don't get a huge color payoff with this blush, but I like it. This is one of my favorite ones by them. And that's normally it. I'm not going to apply bronzer because I don't need it today. I don't want to wear it. Anyway, okay, on to the eyes. I'm going to start off with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is what I normally wear. I, I use it in almost all of my videos. I've tried other ones. Don't really like them. There we go. Just kind of apply it like that. And then use your finger to blend it in. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to be applying a shimmery champagne color. This is MAC Naked Lunch. I have two of these. This is actually my second one that I've ever purchased. The other one that I have is in this little e.l.f. compact because I am way too cheap to go and buy one of the MAC ones. So I'm just going to load up my brush with Naked Lunch and just kind of apply it all over. Now I have very, very fair skin. So this just kind of blends in with my natural skin color. So that's pretty much it. Now in the crease, which normally, normally I do a crease with this look, so I'm gonna be taking a mix of Woodwinked and Sable, just kind of going back and forth. For today's video, I will be taking my Maybelline Gel Eyeliner with my Forever 21 Angle Brush, which this brush comes in a set and it is so awesome. The set is under five bucks Canadian, and it has maybe four or five different brushes in it, and it's just, it's wonderful. For this look, I'm gonna be using two. These are kind of like my favorites for right now. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Mango one. This one is in black brown. Uh, I don't know why I got it in brown. Maybe because I'm like, oh, I'm gonna try brown, go more natural. Uh, you can't find this color in Canada. I got this in the States. It's very liquidy. So apply one coat at a time. 
when you layer mascara, don't wait for it to dry. Apply it when it's wet. So then take your, this is the Maybelline Pumped Up Mascara Colossal Volume Express, whatever it's called, in I believe the only shade it comes in, which is black. This one is more of a drier consistency. And I do like the brush. I normally don't like just regular bristle brushes. I prefer the rubber ones. But recently I've been getting into them and I really like it. And I will take this along the bottom. I'm pretty much done. So all I need now is to fill in my lips and then I can go. So I'm going to take one of my two favorite lipsticks. The first one is, well, they're both by Wet n Wild. They are the Mega Last formulation. They're just from the regular line. My favorite is Bare It All, number 902C. And then my second favorite is Mochalicious in 914C. So I'm not gonna put on Mochalicious. I'm feeling more of a Bare It All kind of day. So yes, this is the look. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.